Hello students, welcome back to our lecture series in computer engineering graphics that is CAEG. We are dealing with unit number 3 isometric projections. Up till now in the lecture number 1 and lecture number 2, we have understood what is the basic principle behind isometric projections, how to obtain an isometric projection, how the object is tilted. Then we have understood how the lines appear in isometric projections or isometric view that is a line along the length axis, width axis and the height axis. We have also seen in lecture number 2 what is the procedure for drawing isometric view, okay, a manual way of drawing it. Okay. Today what we will be dealing with is we will be learning an software that is AutoCAD software by Autodesk company. We are going to use that software for constructing isometric views. Now, before I particularly go further, I should particularly mainly make you aware that there are some kind of a settings that have to be done if I want to have isometric views to be drawn with the help of this software. Okay. First and foremost thing is I should fix the drawing of lines in two particular directions. So, I should turn that ortho mode on. How I can turn that ortho mode on? By using the function key F8. Okay. Second thing is I should be able to draw the lines along the isometric axis that is length, width and height axis. So, there are three direction in which this particular line should be restricted. So, this is to be done with the help of isometric snap and where this isometric snap is available, isometric snap is available to the drafting setting. Within the drafting settings, I have a snap and grid tab and within that I have one particular option which says isometric snap. I will be demonstrating it in few minutes. Okay. So, I should be turning that isometric snap on that is the second thing that I should. Once with the, we are within the isometric snap, okay. so we are free to particularly draw the lines. Now, I have three planes for isometric views. I have a front plane, I have a left or right plane and then I have a top plane. So, I need to particularly draw lines in all these planes. So, I have to switch between planes. This has been obtained with the help of and function key F5. So, I should be using that function key F5 also. Okay. Now, what we shall do over here is we shall switch over to the AutoCAD software as such. We are within the AutoCAD software. Okay. Now, there are some things that are available for us. We are familiar with the graphical user interface of AutoCAD software right now. We are using AutoCAD 2007, but all the versions that are going to be very similar to this, we are not going to use any uh, another uh, tab function, etc. So, the basic thing that will be remaining for all the versions of AutoCAD software. So, we can be very rest assured that uh, this is the thing that will be needed in any kind of a version, with, uh, whether it is AutoCAD 2007, 2010, 2020 or 2024 also. Okay. So, what we shall be doing is we shall be turning that ortho mode on. So, that can be done with the help of uh, function key F8. Okay. So, right now the ortho mode is on over here. Okay. So, nothing to be done for me. I will just show you how to switch it off. So, I will use the function key F8. Okay. I can get the message that is ortho off. So, what I have to do is I have to particularly turn it on. So, okay. so that is the first thing that I have done. Second thing is I have to turn that isometric snap on. For that I have to go to the isometric settings. Okay. So, where they are available. So, I will just go for the drafting settings with the help of OS command. So, I am within this drafting setting right now. The, I have to go to the first tab that is snap and grid. Within the snap and grid I will be having a snap type at the bottom left. Okay. So, right now the rectangular snap is active, I will use isometric snap. So, once this is on okay, and when I click particularly OK button, you will be able to see what is the difference between the cursor. So, now I am able to see that the cursor is having a left and right line. I okay. will just try to see what I am able to. So, I started with a line command. Okay. So, now you can just see that I am able to draw only line in this direction or in this direction or in this direction. Okay. So, this is the way this isometric snap is going to help us. Okay. And then I need to draw lines on different planes also. So, the cursor has to be changed. How I can do it? I can do it with the help of function key. Okay. So, function key F5 that I will be using it. So, I press that F5 key once. 
you will be able to see that this particular cursor is now suited for right plane ok. So, let us say I start drawing line here. So, I can draw a line in this right direction and vertical direction ok. Now, I can do uh, in the right direction upwards or downwards also ok. Same thing in vertical. Again I want to change it. So, function f y key. So, now this is left plane again I demonstrate with a line command. So, I can draw a vertical line and I can draw a line which is to the left, left upwards or left uh, downwards as well ok. So, this is the basic thing that I require here. I will erase out these lines. We will understood what is our particular object here. So, I will just zoom into this. So, this is our front view, we are referring to the first angle method and this is top view and this one is side view. Now, since this is the first angle method, this will be the left hand side view that is on the drawn on the right side ok. So, what we have is we are able to see a rectangular thing in all the three views. The simple assumption can be it is a rectangular box over here whose length is 40 millimeters, height is 60 millimeters and width is 25 millimeters ok. I will show you how to draw it ok. So, what I have done over here is I have particularly put a point here ok that is the reference point for us which we call it as an origin also ok. Now, since we have a left hand side view, so we need a left hand face. So, that is on the left side. So, naturally this will be our front view direction ok. I will switch over to the right plane with the help of F y key. Okay, so, we are in the right plane right now. Okay, I want to have a direction in this direction. Okay, so, this is the bottom of that particular front face. How much it is? 40 millimeters. Okay, so, what I do is I start with line command, pick up the start point and then give the direction. So, simply give the direction, leave the mouse apart and give the word value of this distance. So, the distance value is 40. I will type in 40 and I will press enter. I am able to draw a line which is in this direction ok. Now, I want all these lines to be construction lines. So, I will choose the one color here color 150 ok. So, I will convert this line into color 150 here ok. So, now the default uh, color is 150 that is a faint color for me ok. I need a vertical line for the front face. So, that is this line its distance is 60 millimeters. So, again I start with the line command starting from this point upward direction distance is 60 ok. So, I am able to finish the bottom line and the left height over here ok. I want to finish this portion ok. So, I want to get, get this particular point. How I do it? I particularly draw a construction line in this direction, construction line in this direction where they intersect. So, I will be able to get that point ok. So, I start with the line command moving from here, give a direction, I draw a line which is slightly longer than 60. Similarly, I draw an horizontal line in the length direction slightly greater than 40 ok. So, I am able to get this. Now, I have to finish this. So, for that purpose again I will revert back to our black color, I will use a line weight, line thickness ok and superimpose lines along here. So, I am able to complete the front face ok. Similarly, I have to go for the left face ok. Now, for the left face this is the start point for me that is available here ok and I want to go in that direction that is width direction distance is 25. But first of all, I have to change the plane, isometric plane. So, again I will use that function key F5 ok. So, now I switch to the left plane here, all things are right for us. Starting from this point, move in this direction, distance is 25 ok. I am able to draw it ok. Again I will revert back to construction lines. ok, because I want to get this point ok. So, for that purpose I will draw a width line here and height line here ok with the help of construction lines. So, starting from here greater than slightly 25, 
again a vertical line slightly greater than 60 okay so i'm able to get that point i'll finish it here okay so from this point up to this okay so again i'll revert back to black color increase line weight and i'll finish this so the left plane is also finished for us okay what is remaining is the top plane okay so the cursor is not right for us again we'll use function kf5 okay so with this particular cursor position i can draw a line in the horizontal plane okay again i'll revert back to construction so a line starting from this point slightly greater than the length a line in the width direction slightly greater than the width okay so, I will again revert back to our finishing touch, increase line weight, black color and I will finish this. Okay. So, what we have done is we have used that isometric snap setting, we have turned that ortho mode on, we are doing is giving direction and giving the length and particularly entering the uh, head key okay so this is the way we are able to finish it so we can draw lines here okay we should also learn how to draw circles also okay that is the second part so let us say i'll move into some another area here i'll just draw a circle first of all let the radius of this circle be 20 millimeters Now, how this particular circles appear in isometric that we have learned, okay. How to draw it in case of AutoCAD software that I am going to show you, okay. Now, for that purpose, what I shall do is I will construct a cube here. Okay. Now, the size of this cube that will be equal to the diameter of the circle. So, radius 20, so diameter will be 40. So, let us say 40 in this distance, 40 here, 40 backwards and 40 downwards. Okay. I will convert this into construction. So, I have changed the color, revert back here. Okay. So, we are right. Okay. Now, my particular circle can be on this right plane, it can be on the left plane. So, I will construct that left plane also. So, first of all, I will change the cursor from here again 40 millimeters, upwards 40 millimeters, and I will finish this. Same thing I will convert for the top plane also. So, this is 40. And this is 40 okay so the circle can be anywhere on this right plane left plane or the top plane okay now for obtaining these circles in isometric what we need is we need the center of this circle where it is going to appear okay so this is the center okay so i just switch to again to the right plane i'll get it that center so i locate the midpoint of this line locate the midpoint of this line, draw a vertical line, similarly an horizontal line here from opposite midpoints. So, this is the center what I have. Okay. Now, I will change the color of the circle or the ellipse that I am going to draw here. Okay. So, ellipse command that is available on the draw toolbar. Okay. If I just go down, so this is the ellipse here. Okay. I can click on that. I have to focus my attention on the options available on the command line. So, the options available are arc, center and isocircle. Since I want to draw a uh, circle as an ellipse in isometric, so I have to choose isometric circle. So, first letter of isocircle is I, I will type in I and I will press enter. 
okay i'll just indicate what is the center of this circle okay that is this i'll move in this direction okay so now the direction is right for me either i can pick up the end point here or i can specify the radius also okay any way that will be done so if i do it right now okay so you'll be able to see that the circle is drawn here same thing i have to do on the left plane okay so what i have done is i have located the center by some means started with the ellipse command then i have given the option of isocircle then i have indicated the center of this isocircle and then given the radius point or radius of this okay we'll just do it on the left side also okay so first of all we'll just change the plane again indicate the center so first of all we locate the center i'm using match properties here okay so i have obtained the center here now only thing is i should start with the ellipse command from the draw toolbar okay i can type in ellipse also so i'll just type in el so that will be sufficient for me so we are within the isometric ellipse here i have to give option i i have to indicate this center okay now what we shall do is i will directly indicate the value of radius so radius is 15 sorry radius is 20 here okay same thing i have to do on the right side a uh, top plane also so i'll locate the center okay so i have turned the center now i'll have i'm not going to uh, switch it i'll just show you what mistake will be doing is okay so we we'll start with ellipse command go for i option for iso circle okay i start for center so now we are able to realize that the circle is not appearing fine okay nothing to worry about this we can still change it okay while the command is active i can again use that function key f5 okay so i can just toggle it from different planes okay so now this is right for me so now i can do is i can indicate the end point okay so this way we are able to draw circles in isometric also okay suppose for by some means you are not able to remember this okay uh, what is the ellipse command and so on okay so we can still revert back to our usual way of drawing arcs so four mark on methods that i'm going to demonstrate over here it is okay so what i shall do is i know these are the two end points of a longest okay so i'll just connect them so that is my first step okay second step is find out the midpoints so this is one midpoint this is another this is third and this is fourth okay and then i have to locate the end points of the shorter diagonal so this is end point of the shorter diagonal so from that point i have to draw a line in the opposite direction okay so opposite midpoint so i just draw it here intersection of these two lines this one and this one okay so this will give me first center okay so this as center radius will be distance between these two points i'm going to draw an arc over here so i start with the arc command and just give c as the option okay so this will be center a line starting from here and in this direction okay so i'm going to draw this same thing i'm going to do in the upper side is okay so other end of the diagonal other end of the midpoint get the center for the arc again start with the arc command center has to be 
this arc starting from this point, this midpoint up to the this midpoint. Okay. We'll just use different color for that. Okay. Now there are two arcs remaining from this midpoint up to this. Okay. So for that purpose, this point will be the center. Okay. So I choose a different color here. Line weight also I'll use. So we are able to see it very properly. I start with the arc command, center as the option. Okay. So center is this an arc starting from this point up to this point. Okay. So, similarly for an arc between these two points. Okay. Now, this shorter diagonal corner that will be our center point. Okay. Again, I will start with the arc command. See as the option. So, this is the center starting from this point. That is in one midpoint to the other point. Okay. So, suppose by chance we do not remember that ellipse command with ISO circle option, we can just revert back to our basic and we can still draw that ellipse okay, on particular plane axis. Okay. So, that is all for today uh, sprints. What we have studied is how to particularly use that AutoCAD software for drawing isometric views. Okay. So, we have learned the settings for that and the ways of doing it also. Okay. We will meet in the next lecture.